So here's a good way to measure the thrust of your engines. Knowing the thrust of your engines is very important. Not only to make sure that it's powerful enough to push your rocket, but also so you can classify your creation and so you can legitimately brag about how badass your motor is. So here's what you'll need. Three 8 foot 2x4s that aren't too shabby, one 2.5 inch pin hinge, eight 1.5 inch corner braces, four size 10 ceiling hooks and four size 210 screw eyes, two springs, which I'll describe later, a 3 foot 5 16 inch threaded rod, four 5 16 inch washers and hex nuts, eight feet of thin guy wire, four guy wire screw clamps, and a set of hose clamps. Here I have two sets. These are what's going to hold your engine into the meter, so you want to make sure that they're big enough to fit around your engine with a good amount of slack. So start out by cutting two 36 inch pieces from the two by fours. Then cut out two 20 inch pieces as well and put them together like so. Fasten them together with two and a half inch wood screws. You also want to countersink these so it looks better and you don't have sharp jagged edges to scrape your hands on. Now you will have them in a square frame like this. Now cut out two 24 inch pieces and a 14 inch piece and put them together like you see here. You might have to do some eyeballing and measuring to make sure that they go straight up and down. The board on the, tall, on the tall frame on the top will have a lip on both sides. Don't worry about it. Next, use the corner braces to secure the inside corners of the frame you just built. Next, secure the outside corners with the corner braces as well. Now cut out a 26 and a half inch board and fasten the pin hinges to the flattest end like you see here. Keep the actual hinge part below the board so the hinge has enough space to hyperextend past 90 degrees. It's very important that you do this, so don't screw up. Next take the ceiling hooks and put them on the opposite end of the hinge on either side of the board like you see here. Now drill two 5 16 inch holes through the same end and slide a 10 inch segment of the threaded rod through and use the washers and hex nuts to tightly hold both sides together. Now secure the other side of the hinge to this board like you saw earlier. Now take two more ceiling hooks and fasten them to the top board and hook the springs to connect all the hooks like this. At this point, put two screw eyes in the top board at both ends on the back. String the guy wire through the eyelet and put one guy wire clamp on each end. The top should look like this. The guy wires will go down to another board which is 26 inches long with 13 inches sticking out the back. Use eyelets and screw clamps to hold all the guy wires together. These wires will keep the frame from shifting and bending during tests. Now you're finished and this is what it should look like. Use your hose clamps to secure the engine upside down and make sure that it's straight up and down because if you don't you won't get a good reading and it might just fly right off the meter. Use a sharpie and dumbbells to calibrate your meter. Here's how I did it. You can see that I put one inch tick marks along the side of the board. You can also see a 20 pound weight pressing the board down to the 11 inch mark. In the next slide, you can see a 35 pound dumbbell pressing the meter down to the 15 inch mark. So knowing these, and doing a little math, I know that if the test rocket presses my meter down to 12 and a half inches, my top power is 27 and a half pounds. On a side note, always calibrate your meter at the same temperature that you're going to test your motor because springs flex farther when they're warm and vice versa. This whole project cost me about $30. I found all the stuff I needed at a hardware plumbing store and I got the wood at Home Depot. You can always trade your springs out for weaker or stronger ones depending on how powerful your engine is. This is a pretty fun project to make. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to put up a parts list on my site as soon as I can. And hopefully I'll have a demo for this contraption uploaded in the next couple days. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.